Hey there, Python trainer Ruben Lerner here. This time I want to talk to you about problems that people have making comparisons in Python. So let's start off with something simple. If I say here x equals 10 and y equals 20, I can say x is less than y. And sure enough, x is less than y is going to return the value true. If I say x is greater than y, it's going to be false. And of course, I can switch them around and so forth. Okay, well, what if I say x equals 10 and y equals the string 20? Is now x less than y? Actually, Python has no idea. I should add, by the way, that in Python 2, the language did return an answer. And that's because, if I remember correctly, all strings were greater than all integers. Or maybe it was the other way around. It didn't really matter. It was not useful. And so in Python 3, we cannot make these sorts of comparisons across types. So if I say, is x, the integer 10, less than y, the string 20, Python basically throws up its hands and says, I have no idea what you want with me, but I can't do this. Or in more technical terms, it says type error, that's the exception we get, less than is not supported between instances of int and str, meaning you have an integer, you have a string, you cannot run less than between them. So what can we do? Well, we can convert one to the other. I can say x is less than int y. And yeah, now it works just fine. Why? Because now we're actually comparing two integers, x and int y. We're not comparing two uh, things of different types. I could also, if I really want to, say stir of x is less than y. And that will also work, but you really have to be careful when turning numbers into strings than doing comparisons, because you'll also find that if we say here, like the string 2 is less than the string 10, right, that's false. Why is that false? Well, because it's going alphabetically. It's checking the first character. And so one is less than two, at least in the strings. Um, I mean, one is less than two in integers also. In any event, you have to be a little careful. Now, I see people encounter this all the time, especially when they're getting input from users and trying to compare that input with a number. So for example, if I say here x equals 10, and then I'm going to say here input, well, let's do this. Let's say uh, guess equals input, enter a guess. And so then I can say, if the guess is equal equal to x, then print, we got it. Elif guess is less than x, print, too small. And then else, we can say, print, too big. So what's going to happen now? Well, I'm going to enter a guess, and I'm going to guess 10. Pretty good guess, right? And it gives me an error. It gives me an error. Not only does it give me an error, it gives me an error here in line seven when we're checking to see if guess is less than x. So what is the problem? Well, we see the problem. The problem is I'm getting exactly the same error as I got before. Less than is not supported between instances of stir and int. So what's the problem? The problem is that input, the built-in function input, which allows us to get input from the user, always, but always, but always returns a string. And that means that guess is a string. And so it compares, is guess the same as x? Meaning, in our particular case, is the string 10 the same as the integer 10? And the answer, of course, is no. That would be ludicrous, at least in Python. So then it goes to the next thing. It says, okay, is the string 10 less than the integer 10? And then it says, that's also ludicrous. I don't know how to make that sort of comparison. And it throws up its hands as a result. So what do we need to do in such cases? We need to make sure that if we're going to be comparing two values, we need to make sure that they're actually comparable one to the other. And the easiest way to do that here is to say guess equals int of guess. And what's going to happen then? Well, first we're getting the input from the user. That's going to be a string. We're sticking that in guess. And then I'm going to turn it into an integer. That's to say I'm creating a new integer object based on guess. And I'm assigning it back to guess. Now, you could be saying here, wait a second, should we do some error checking? Yes, we should. But this is just a short demonstration. And so now if I say 10, you got it. What if I say here 5, too small? What if I say here 100, too big? What if I say here hello? Well, now it's going to give me an error as well, but not the error we had before. This is what I was alluding to when I said that maybe we should do some type checking. It says here, wait, 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 you can't turn hello into an integer, at least not a base 10 integer. So again, could we do some more checking here? We absolutely could. So if you encounter this sort of problem, this type error, now you know that it's because you can't automatically always compare one thing with another. Now, you can get much, much deeper into this if you want. Um, for example, if you try to compare dictionaries one with the other, you're going to get this sort of error because dictionaries are not comparable. And in such a case, you'll probably need to apply a function, uh, what we call a key function, to the sorted function. 
So you can look up that sort of information. I'll talk about it in another video as well. But you should just know that there are solutions to this problem. But at the base level here, you should realize that if you get this sort of error, um, it's because you're trying to compare two values of two different types and they're not comparable. I'll add one little thing to this, which is there are sometimes two different types that are comparable. What if I say x equals 10 and y equals 20.5? Well, the type of x is an int and the type of y is a float. But Python knows that both of these are numeric and they are comparable. So I can say x is less than y and y is greater than x and all this will work just fine. So are we always unable to compare across types? No. Often though, yeah, and you should assume that's always going to be the case.